That's something that Dallas would love to see, and he's here to talk more about that and also explain where these waves are coming from, Dallas. That's right. They're generated at sea on, under these huge cyclones that are typical of El Nino's. We got that coastal flood warning all the way into Saturday night, and the reason for that is I'm expecting uh, a big swell coming in early Saturday morning, and that will be almost from the west, northwest, will be coming back into Ventura County and making its way down into Southern California, down through Orange County, too. The center of that low pressure. When the pressure falls around those big lows, the air starts blowing into the center of these storms up to hurricane velocity. You can see 70, 75 mile per hour winds there, and it's low latitude, too. Now, it's the wind blowing across the surface of the ocean that generates these giant waves, and then they move out away from the center of the cyclone, coming right into the coast of California. And during El Nino, we'll see these low pressure areas a little bit further lower latitude and that can generate those big swells coming in on Saturday morning will be a cold front gorgeous 3D view of what will happen air will be lifted along the leading edge of that front we could even get a shower or thunderstorm behind the front skies will start clearing Saturday afternoon as we head into Sunday so let's find the cold front tonight on the computer modeling there it is right there the air lifting right ahead look at it moving eastbound the center of the cyclone moves northward but by tomorrow night, it's in San Francisco. And then early Saturday morning, it rolls right into Southern California. We'll have a chance of rain at that time. Also, we'll see some lightning or thunder. Then the little ridge builds in behind that. So I think by Saturday afternoon, we'll start seeing some clearing skies. The next storm shows out above the ocean. This one, though, may be too far to the southwest to give us very much rain. And that is not in my forecast for New Year's Day. 70 degrees tomorrow. We'll have a mixture of clouds and sunshine across the area, so it's still a cool day, but just about where we should be this time of the year, about 67 degrees downtown. In Ventura County tomorrow, Oxnard at 65, Malibu at 64. Let's look at the seven day then. Tomorrow we'll have a mixture of clouds and sun, a cool day 67. Then late tomorrow night and into Saturday, the rain arrives. Some of it will produce a half an inch of rain downtown. Then it'll start breaking up late in the afternoon. I think Sunday looks like a fairly good day, but by Sunday afternoon and early Monday, a slight chance of showers. Then another storm system arrives with uh, more rain Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Tuesday looks like the sunniest day of the next seven day period. Period. In the valley areas, one half to three quarters of an inch of rain. And as I mentioned, slight chance of thunder rolling through. Sunday, partly cloudy skies. Late in the afternoon and evening, a slight chance of rain. New Year's Day looks good, I think. Slight chance early in the morning, 20%, and then partly cloudy. It's cool, though, only 63 for a high. At the beaches, big surf tomorrow, 5 to 10. And then on Saturday morning, rolling it up even stronger, we'll get some 6 to 12 feet. And even higher, of course, you can get these pulses of waves that can be 15, 16, 17 feet high. So 59 at the beaches on um, a Saturday morning. It'll be certainly rainy and cold at Newport Beach on Saturday. Now let's go to the mountain forecast because I do have some snow, two to four inches, and that will occur on Saturday at about 65 or seven grand. Not bad at all. And then another dusting of snow, light snow, early Monday morning skiing, snowboarding looks good. Enjoy the desert. You will have some rain showers on Saturday, a cold day, 54, and Palm Springs only in the mid 60s, clearing out as we head into Monday and Tuesday of next week. Looks like the El Nino season is rolling strong. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.